Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about headlamps. Now, in my study of headlamps, I found out the reason why some of them will run for a hundred hours and some of them will only run for two hours, sometimes on the same battery. So, uh, let me give you a quick rundown on that and then show you how I figured things out. Uh, the thing is, with the more expensive ones like this Princeton uh, Aurora, so they have a circuit board inside of them, and that circuit board turns the light on and off at a tremendous speed, like 40,000 times a second. Uh, the reason why this light runs for over 100 hours is because, although it turns it on and off 40,000 40, times per second, it's off 98% of the time. It's only on like 2% of the time. And you say, well, that's not going to work very well. Well, <laughs> here's the deal. The human eye, when you flash light into it, or any image that it sees, it holds that image for one thirtieth of a second, which in electronic time is like an eternity. So, if this flashes on for one forty thousandth of a second, it's an LED, it comes on full bright for one forty thousandth of a second, and then turns off for, you know, eighty times in the other direction, uh, your eye's holding that for one thirtieth of a second, so when it comes back on again, your eye doesn't even know it ever shut off. So your eye, for all intent and purposes, thinks it's on all the time. It doesn't even see a flicker or anything. As long as it's turning on and off more than 30 times per second, basically your eye thinks it's on all the time. So by being off 98% of the time, as near as I can tell, and only being on 2% of the time, that's how you get this an enormous amount of battery life, basically with the same light. That's just one of those little loopholes in life or loopholes in science that this company is taking advantage of. Now you're probably asking yourself, how do I know that this thing turns on and off that fast or that it turns on and off at all? Maybe I'm just blowing smoke. Well, here's how. This little box I built out of a set of uh, plans that came off of a, I think came out of a Radio Shack book. It takes uh, light and turns it to sound. Every time a uh, light cycles, turns on and off, uh, this will click once. So I think maybe I can show you. I've got the microphone on this taped to the microphone on my video camera. And I've got a light going over there, which should be running at 60 cycles. That means it should be completing a sine wave every 60 times a second. That's what the grid is. The grid is 60 hertz. And so that light should generate a sound. I don't know whether you can hear that or not. On the other hand, if you shine it at daylight, daylight's basically nothing. Because it's on all the time. Okay, so let me show you what I'm up to. Here's a... Well, first let me show you this light here. This is kind of a Mickey Mouse light that doesn't have any circuit in it. And if you turn it on and hold this against it, I mean in front of it, you don't get anything. If you turn it on to flash, okay, now let's take this high-tech one that has a circuit in it. You can hear it buzzing very, very fast. This thing's turning on and off. This thing's probably turning on and off. You know, thousands of times. And that's how you know whether you've got a circuit board in your light or not. But a much easier way is just to look and uh, see how long it's rated for. Because if it's rated for a couple hours, it doesn't have a circuit board. And if it's rated for you know, like 50, 100 hours, 150 hours, it definitely has a circuit board in it. And that's how they get lights to last so long. Uh, this is a real high-tech one here, but I don't think it has any circuit in it. I think it's just all the time, but it has some really frugal LEDs in it. Now, that's all I know about lights. I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Have a great day and stay out of the dark.